today we are gonna be moving out little one and this is little one's enclosure so i built this for her um i think like around december and I, I think I have some clips of it, so if I find those clips, I will include them right here. it indoors and she was indoors because of the whole winter thing and everything it is beautiful out here yeah I'm moving her outdoors I prefer my turtles outdoors just you know they get like good natural sunlight instead of like having to use UV bulbs and it saves me on electricity and it's very beneficial for them and it's beneficial for me and my wallet so let's get started it, it needs work all right so i'm gonna grab the gravel i'm gonna place it here so that we can rinse off everything really good don't you just hate it when this happens <laughs> So the little water area is finally clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rocks in there. And now we are going to distribute them. And I'll get to these bigger ones in a bit. I don't have like a super thick layer of them. I just have like barely enough to cover the bottom. These bigger ones, I see this right here is kind of really deep. In case little one wants to come out this way, I mean she usually like comes in through here and this is like slanted a lot so it's really easy for her to get out through here but sometimes she's being really hard headed and wants to try to climb out through here and I just kind of put these bigger ones there so that she has like an easier time you know getting up here and then here I just kind of have those there to make things easier for her and I'll throw like little rocks between them so that they don't shift around. There we go. And now I'm going to add the water in. And I'm just going to add a few drops of dechlorinator. So here I'm just going to add these plants and these will help 
naturally filter the water and I mean if little one wants to munch on them that's fine I have tons of these actually I have way too many right now I have no idea what to do with all of them <laughs> so yeah so now I'm just gonna be adding some of this dirt right here not too much I'm just adding like a I don't know like three inches of it Now I'm just gonna take this spray bottle and dampen it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking some more of this dirt and I'm gonna make it like a paste. So I'm gonna add lots and lots of water to it. And it's a little bit runny, so I'm gonna add a little bit more dirt. This is perfect. Okay, so this is little one's cave, right? Goes in there and she sleeps there pretty much all day. <laughs> And the problem is that this part over here, it is like uncovered. So I'm gonna use this paste to kind of make like a roof up here. So she finally has a roof and spraying this a few times a day will keep this from collapsing and it will keep it nice and strong. Now I'm gonna clean the front glass really quick. It is now the next day. So today I'm going to decorate with some plants. It's a mixture of both house plants and weeds and just like, I don't even know what most of these are called. So yeah, we are gonna plant them there. And that will allow some shade for a little one because this does get a lot of hours of sunlight. And I totally feel like I wore the appropriate shirt. Like a bunch of really cute cactuses and stuff. So yeah, let's do it. Actually, I'm gonna go take the camera with me. <laughs> so here they are. I just put some water down there while we plant so that they don't kind of just like collapse on us. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of set them out like kind of where I want them. And then I'll actually plant them like when I'm sure that that's where I want them. That was all the plants and oh my god, I'm gonna drop it. Don't fall. <laughs> Here they all are, laid out where I want them and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them.
so there's the plants all nice and planted and I'm just gonna give them a few hours to kind of recover a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add little one in I don't know what I'm doing anymore yep I have a branch and I don't know I want to use it somehow <laughs> I'm so hungry. This chocolate is like all melty and so good. So I bought these um, sphere looking planters on eBay about <laughs> probably like two years ago. I haven't used them. So this is them. They've just kind of been sitting here on this box. I think I bought like 12 of them. And I just said to myself, like, girl, today is the day. And <laughs> I'm gonna use them today. I'm gonna, you guys will see what I'm gonna do with them. Ta da! Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> so I brought some little plants and some dirt, and yeah, let's, let's go ahead and plant those. <laughs> Alright, so it is starting to get dark and I'm gonna have to stop recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and add little one in her enclosure so that she can spend the night there. She <laughs> turtle pee <laughs> every time. I just wanna give you guys a close up of her really quick because she is just so beautiful. And I'm gonna get out of the shot because I want y'all to concentrate on her, okay? Oh, I look at her. She's just like beautiful and so cute. Like, look at her little face. Oh, Look, baby, your new house. Do you like it? I mean, I hope you do because I spent a very long time on it and I made it for you with lots and lots of love. All right, go explore. I took a break and I came on a walk and I ended up like stuffing my face. So let me show you guys what I'm eating. I brought some pellets from Babette and I'm gonna feed those to the little duckies here. Oh hi. <laughs> and I bought myself a lot of junk food that I probably am not gonna finish. I'm excited about this and this. this is my dinner pretty much. I just realized I have terrible eating habits.
so I am home now and it's been a few hours. I'm just like finishing up some animal chores before I go to bed. And really quick, I wanted you guys I wanted you guys to meet this little guy. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you guys know who this is and why I have him and what he's doing here. I didn't really want to show him on video because he really wasn't doing well. I really thought he wasn't going to make it, um, but I have been seeing some slight improvement in his health. So I don't know, I have hopes. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce him to you guys like regardless of what happens. So yeah, wish this little guy lots and lots of luck on his recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him before I go to bed and yeah. I don't know, I thought you guys would be interested in seeing the whole process. He's still really, really weak. As you can see, he's having a really hard time uh, holding himself up. So let's go ahead and get some food into you and hopefully that will make you nice and strong. The first thing I'm gonna feed you is your favorite. All right, you already know. You gotta get down there because I have to hold you. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go cuddle with him and give him some warmth right now. I was limiting human contact at first because my intent was to release this guy but he is just in such bad shape and I noticed his health decline when I wasn't having any contact with him so I'm just kind of putting that on hold right now. I'm more worried about him doing better than limiting human contact. I'm gonna go do that right now but first I wanted to really quick share some fan mail from you guys this one is from Genesis Rivera all the way from Linden I already kind of opened these because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any like explosives on here <laughs> just kidding I know you guys would never send me that it's a really sweet letter and it says dear stuff J I'm one of your biggest fans and I watch your YouTube videos you are a big inspiration because you care about animals so much and they mean like family to you they do <laughs> You get me. <laughs> when I heard you had an online store where you sell t-shirts and bags, I literally screamed and jumped up and down my bed. I was so happy that for Christmas I got the serious catnip t-shirt and the turtle necklace with the white back with the purple design. <laughs> I remember your order actually. Um, I packaged that. <laughs> um, I love them so much and I wear them every time. Aww. <laughs> I know your Christmas was a bit sad for you because of your kitties but I am wishing them their best of luck getting better. Love you so much and keep making awesome videos as usual. Bye XOXO Genesis. Genesis, you are so sweet and thank you so much for this sweet letter and yeah, the kitties are all better. They're doing amazing and thank you. And I'm really happy that you like the items you purchased from my online store. Thank you so much for the support. So this one is from Mary Conwell. I kind of got a glimpse at it, but not so well. So I'm really excited because I got to see a little bit of it. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Oh, there's a letter. Oh, there's a note. Well, of course, I'm going to read the note first. She added like these cute foam stickers on it. Girl, you are so creative. Dear Steph J, I hope you enjoyed the drawing. I have never drawn fan art before, but you are so beautiful with your mermaid hair that I could not resist. 
I love your videos and your immense creativity. Love Mary Conwell. And then there's her Instagram down there. You guys should totally go follow her. I'm so flattered that you chose me to make fan art. Like, I'm, I'm flattered that I've, I'm your first, I guess you could say. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. This is just gorgeous. Oh my god, I love the goldfish. I love the hair. I love everything girl you are talented oh my god you even <laughs> you even did the mold she even <laughs> included my mold <laughs> thank you so much mary and of course i'm gonna go follow you on instagram right now right after i upload this video let me show you where i'm gonna go hang it okay i'm gonna frame it and it is gonna go right here so hopefully every time i film and sit over there this will be in the background. <laughs> I love the metallic around the goldfish. That's like so beautiful. So we have reached the end of this video. In the comments down below, let me know what is your favorite type of turtle. I know that is like the hardest question ever. I don't know if this is my favorite turtle, but my dream turtle would be an Aldabra tortoise. They are just beautiful and huge and majestic and yeah i think that would be my answer and if you like this video then go ahead and give this a big fat thumbs up so that i know and keep making this kind of video and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel then make sure that you are subscribed so that you never miss a new video and of course turn on your notifications so that you get a notification every time i upload a new video i will talk to you guys in the next video bye yeah this is his favorite chilling spot It's pretty dark here. I don't know if you guys can see him. But here he is, just chilling on my neck. <laughs> he will probably poop any second now, but you know, I don't really mind. I'm just happy he's comfy and walking around, actually. He hasn't really been active till now. So he started out down here. I had him down here. Oh, here's the camera now. <laughs> And he walked up all the way up here all on his own so I am so proud of him I really really hope he pulls through get better little guy fight for your life fight for your life okay don't give up